It's Formula One week here in India with the Indian Grand Prix coming up this weekend. A lot of excitement and uh, we've got a special person here to talk about that with us. It is of course uh, one of the Formula One drivers who will be racing at the Booth International Circuit, Nico Rosberg. Great to see you again, Nico. Thank you. Welcome back to India, I should say, because last year was the big sort of uh, excitement of the first Indian Grand Prix. Everybody's had a chance to sort of digest that a little bit now and you're back for the second race. Uh, are you excited? Yeah, of course. No, I think it's fantastic that Formula One is coming to India and um, they've built a great track, you know, which is really enjoyable to drive and so many fans come and everything. So the whole weekend is always, uh, was last year very, very nice and I look forward to it again this year, definitely. I, in fact, I've read about what you've said about the track itself, you know, the fact that it has so many turns and, uh, you know, a lot of people had this doubt that will this track be really as exciting as some of the other tracks in the world. Um, like I said, last year it was all new, but having done that and you've come back now, studied it much longer this year, uh, what's the part that you're looking forward to? Um, I personally, as I say, uh, I like the track a lot and I think it uh, gives very exciting racing. There's a lot of uh, overtaking that can happen. Mm. Last year at the front, I don't think we saw that much overtaking, but it always depends, you know, and maybe this year um, there can be more of that. And I like, uh, I like the flow. There's, uh, you know, there's everything. There's slow speed the corners, very fast corners, yeah. uh, changing direction. There's everything and I think it puts on a good show. Well, we are very happy that we have a track here and that we also get to drive on it now, so it's great fun. Have you driven? Oh yeah, several times. Do you have the lap record? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> but uh, this year itself has been really exciting for you. I mean, uh, t t talk us through it. Talk us through what the season's been like. I'll talk specifically about the Chinese Grand Prix after that. Um, yeah, well, Mercedes has now taken their own team in the last uh, three years, you know, and we've been building it up now because uh, Mercedes used to be the the best uh, or most competitive brand in Formula One in the 50s and then they stopped having their own team and they just yeah. supplied engine and now they have their own team again so um, it's been the target to make Mercedes the best again in Formula One and we've been building it up and this year the goal was to improve on last year you know we want to move forward all the time and we managed to do that because I, I won the first race uh, for myself and for the team in China and that was the first time that Mercedes won uh, in F1 since 57 years you know since the days of Fanjo and Moss so it was very, very special also for me as a German. Um, and then finished second in Monaco. So we had really a, a group of uh, really good results. Michael finished third in, in Valencia. So it can be seen as a success uh, our season that we really managed to improve. Um, now we're having a little bit more difficult time at the moment, but that's how it goes in a season, yeah. you know, and important is to learn and, and again improve for next year. And that's what you guys have talked about consistently, about just sort of building it up. Um, let's talk a little bit more about that Chinese Grand Prix win. I mean, uh, what was your sort of uh, strategy going into it? it? It, of course, was very special. Also, the first uh, time after many years that you had a German driver, German car combination as well. Yeah, I mean, going there, we expected that it should be a track that suits us. Um, and then I managed to get pole position by half a second, which was good. Great start. Everything just, uh, you know, everything just worked out really well and then uh, I won the race with like 20 seconds uh, lead and it was a very very nice experience. It was fun to watch I can tell you that and um, your own sort of you know it's, it's sort of a culmination of what you've been working towards as well um, so for a, on a personal level it must have felt really great. Oh for sure yes very yeah. emotional um, and even it, it's improved my motivation even more you know because I, I won it again now because it was such a nice experience. The part you mentioned about how the season goes sort of up and down, um, the way that the team has been sort of working towards the target, it's been pretty apparent to the rest of us watching from the outside as well. Uh, where do you see it going from here on? I mean, I know you've got four races left in this season, but not just this year, I mean, even next year. I mean, at the moment, we need to start thinking a little bit about next year also. So we're yeah. still pushing a lot for this year, um, but many of the things that we're developing on the car this year are also going to help for next year. And important is that next year we make that extra step again, you know? Um, and win maybe a few more races than, than this year, for example. Yeah, your fans would love that. Uh, you know, the fact that you now have this win under your belt um, and you said that it motivates you further. What, what are your learnings from this season really then as you take it into next year? Obviously, there's more confidence, but besides that, what else? Oh, it's just the whole team. We learned so much um, step by step, you know, what we can do better, where we need to improve, which areas we need to improve, because we're not the best team yet. Yeah, and, sure. and so we still have some way to go. And, um, yeah, it's uh, very interesting times. Interesting times, of course, and uh, you know I'm going to ask you about this, the announcements that have happened in terms of the change of drivers. Uh, big announcements, the fact that Michael retires, uh, the fact that Lewis comes in. 
Um, how do you sort of look at, look at all this from an individual point of view? Um, well, I, I enjoyed working with Michael. It was a great time. Uh, very uh, good experience for me also. Um, very challenging, but I'm glad that I managed to beat him <laughs> for, the, for the three years, which is nice. And at the same time now, I also look forward to the new challenge I'm with Lewis coming in. I know Lewis very well. We used to uh, uh, drive together in go-karts. We were yes. teammates when we were 14 years old. So we were really good friends at the time, um, still friends now. And it's going to be great with him. You know, um, he's definitely one of the best in the sport at the moment. So it'll be good to measure myself against that. Mm. The reason I ask you that is because, as you mentioned, I mean, with Michael, there was all this huge baggage of him being the seven-time world champion. And he's obviously senior to you, and you would probably want to learn a lot from him. With Lewis, it is a different dynamic. I mean, you are, like you mentioned, you've known him for, for so many years now. Uh, do you think that will change your approach in a sense as to how you, uh, you know, compete with each other in a sense? No, I don't think. A teammate is teammate, you know, and that's and one of the important things in F1 is to beat your teammate. <laughs> um, so I think, and I think I'll be able to learn from Lewis too, just as Lewis will be able to learn from me. You know, it's always, uh, you, you always exchange with teammates and, and work together in a way also, because in the end we're employees to Mercedes and we want to do the best possible job for Mercedes. And that's the thing I think a lot of times, whether it's the fans or particularly the media, we end up missing that point, isn't it? That when you talk about this fact that you want to compete with each other, it's good for the team. Uh, most people see it as a rivalry, but that's not what it is. Well, it is also a rivalry. No, but, but you know what I mean, though. But mainly, it's, it's good, it's for, good the for the team because yeah. you push each other. You know, if you're, if, if you're really driving at a high level, the other guy is always going to be doing something better. So you can pick that out and try and do that yourself, and that will bring your level up. Then the other guy is going to be like, oh, he's moved up. I need to, you know, and just uh, continuously raises the game. But how did you manage to tackle that pressure that was on you when it was someone like a Michael Schumacher who was your teammate? And I mean, everybody spoke about how well you've raced and how, like you mentioned, you know, you did better than him in these three years. Um, going into it, what was your approach? Yeah, well, it was a very different, um, different occasion. I mean, he's a for legend, me. right? So. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and I didn't really know what to expect. I knew that I was going to do a good job. I was confident of that. But how that would compare to him, no idea, you know. And that's why now looking back, I'm like, wow, that's cool that I managed to beat him the, the three years, is, I'm very happy with that. The fact that you get to spend time with someone like that, uh, not just on the, on the track, but even off the track, uh, what, what do you sort of learn from a person like that? Well, you can see why he's seven-time world champion. He just does a good job with, um, with all the different aspects uh, which are important to being a good racing driver. And uh, yeah, I'm also a person who I try to do good in, in everything, you know, not just drive fast. So, so again, I think we're exchanging well and uh, learning from each other. And you think that it's a similar sort of uh, experience for the for the team as well? I mean, you've got a you've got a legendary team principal as well. Yeah, that's another person that I enjoy working with, yeah. uh, with Ross, but also with Dobet. Uh, yeah. They're people who've had a lot of ex lot of success in the sport and it's great to see how they approach, you know, how they approach their job and how they work with people and everything is very, uh, very good. And, you know, the uh, other thing that's been spoken about a lot of late is the new races. I mean, of course, the Chinese Grand Prix is not that new anymore, but um, the Korean Grand Prix, you've got, of course, the Indian Grand Prix. Um, what is the kind of approach within the team towards some of these, uh, you know, new venues? Or is it oh, just have, the same um, approach? We have Texas coming up afterwards, after this one. Oh, yeah. No, uh, after Abu Dhabi. Well, yeah. And that's going to be a new race again. Um, and I look forward to that. It's, it's a, you know, it's a challenge to learn a new track. You know, we're going to be practicing that on the simulator. So what they do is they take the plans from the FIA, w the building plans, and they put that into the simulator. And so we have the track, and sometimes they even laser scan the track. And then so we have a proper uh, really three-dimensional cool. scan in the computer, and so it's really realistic, and practice there, and then go drive on the real track. Talk us through that, because I think, again, here in India, there's a, there's a limited understanding as to you know, how the sport functions outside of the track. Um, the, the period where you're not racing, either between races or between seasons, what is the kind of work that you put in? Well, there's no more testing allowed, so we're not allowed yeah. to practice with the racing car Unfortunately. to save money <laughs> for the whole sport. Yes. So what we do is we drive simulator, um, spend some time in the factory, you know, with the engineers discussing, reviewing data from. There's so much data that there is to review. You know, on the car, there's sensors everywhere. everywhere. I mean, there's hundreds, even thousands of sensors on everything of the car. You know, and that's all um, saved in the, in the database. And then after each race weekend. Everybody digs through it. Even the driver will be involved with the engineers and comment things, and that's one of the main things. India's number one news app just got even better.
Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.